so uh, we were discussing whether a proton is shielded or deshielded <coughs> it is very clear that uh, if the uh, uh, if the induced field produced by the neighboring electrons are working in the same direction to that of the <coughs> to that of the required field then the applied field necessary or applied field required will be less and in that case we call it uh, the deshielding okay and if the uh, induced field produced by the electrons is working in the opposite direction to that of the required field then the applied field required will be high okay so in that case the proton will be shielded so it is very clear that when the induced field and the uh, required field they are working in the same direction then the applied field will be less and in that case the proton will be called deshielded okay and if they are working in the opposite direction then the applied field needed will be high and in that case the proton will be called a shielded proton okay now uh, look we need to uh, consider two different compounds and acetylene and ethylene uh, we often uh, find a question that why the acetylene protons are uh, normally uh, the shielded proton and why uh, the ethylene protons are deshielded proton that means uh, why the applied field required for the flipping of an acetylene proton is uh, high and whereas the uh, the flipping frequency or the applied field required for a proton of ethylene is less now that can be explained with the help of this diagram now this is actually the acetylene molecule where uh, we can see the aligned orientation uh, of the or, or better to say that the perpendicular orientation of the acetylene molecule now this is the circulation of electron cloud okay now uh, if it is uh, the electron cloud then definitely we have a magnetic field associated with the rotation of electrons now according to lenz's law if this is the direction of rotation of the electrons then the magnetic lines of force will be lying perpendicular to that of the direction of rotation of the uh, electric current therefore these are the magnetic lines of force now you can see the direction of the magnetic lines of force the magnetic lines of force actually emerging from this side and they are reentering from that side okay so these are the magnetic lines of force okay here reentering here similarly this direction as well so this is actually this is the direction of rotation of the magnetic lines of force okay so it is very clear from the diagram that if this is the direction of the applied field if this is the direction of the applied field then you can see that the direction of the induced field is actually working in the opposite direction uh, where the proton is located okay so here we have the proton and the direction of the magnetic lines of force are actually this okay so the induced field is actually working in the opposite direction to that of the applied field therefore all the protons this is actually the case of uh, this one that is the induced field is actually working in the opposite direction of the required field therefore a uh, higher amount of applied field is re required so we need to apply a greater amount of applied field so that the flipping occurs therefore these protons this one and this one these two protons are actually highly shielded proton so therefore the acetylenic protons are shielded protons as the magnetic lines of force are actually working in the opposite direction to that of the uh, required field therefore a greater amount of applied field is required to flip a proton that's why these acetylenic protons are called the shielded protons and they comes into resonance at a greater amount of uh, radio frequency this is called the upfield shifting okay so this is the upfield shifting but what about the ethylene the ethylene molecule is like this okay <clears throat> now if this is the direction of, uh, of 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 flow of electron then these are actually the magnetic lines of force okay these are the magnetic lines of force so they are emerging from the bottom of the compound and reentering from the top of the compound so it is very clear from the diagram that these these protons are actually lying in this plane okay so this is the plane where the protons are lying now you can see that the direction of the induced field is actually working in the same direction of the applied field here right so this is the direction of the of the of the induced field and this is the direction of the applied field so the direction of the applied field and the induced field they are working in the same direction so this is the situation of this one 
where you can see that the induced field and the required field they are actually working in the same direction so the applied field required to flip a proton will be less because they are working in the same direction that's why the ethylenic protons are called the de-shielded protons so this is de-shielding so these protons are called the de-shielded protons as the magnetic lines of force that is the induced field they are working in the same direction to that of the required field so lesser amount of applied field is required to flip a proton this is called the down field shifting therefore a lesser amount of applied field is required to flip a proton this type of protons are called the de-shielded protons these are de-shielded protons where the acetylenic protons were shielded protons so shielded protons comes into resonance at a greater amount of applied field whereas the uh, the the uh, the sorry the deshielded proton comes into resonance at a lesser amount of applied field whereas the shielded proton comes into resonance at a greater amount of applied field okay so acetylenic protons are shielded and show up field shifting this is also called the diamagnetic shielding or sigma d which is positive so diamagnetic shielding or simple shielding is always a positive parameter whereas ethylenic protons are deshielded because they are you can see why they are deshielded and shows a down field shifting as i said that lesser amount of applied field is required to flip a proton so it's called a down field shifting it is also called the paramagnetic shifting and denoted by the symbol sigma p which is a negative parameter okay so i guess uh, this part is clear to you this is a big topic and we have to divide this whole topic into few segments so this is uh, the first part of the man nuclear magnetic resonance uh, all the spectroscopies are a bit uh, difficult uh, and nmr is no exception probably the nmr is the is the most uh, difficult type of uh, spectroscopic analysis now uh, we will discuss uh, the other part and the remaining part uh, in the next videos so i guess uh, this is uh, helpful for all of you okay thank you